Stone Sour looks down at his wound and kind of surprise. Hmm. Not bad. You wield one of our weapons. I do? That is property of the Star Men. Well, I kind of think it's mine now. You will return it or you will die. You can try. Very well. You see him kind of begin to shake in place and the air around him begins to distort. Marisol pulls her glass shards back to her in anticipation for whatever this is. I'm going to say that you guys are one zone away except for Jim. Well, none of you will take this effect, but you will see it happen. The air around him begins to heat up at an incredible level. Jim, you can feel it's like standing next to an open fire that is not slowing down in its growth. This is the familiar feeling of being next to like flaming wreckage or even a, a flamethrower that's being used. Like it, it's that hot. The air is now superheated around Stone Sour. Do you have anything on you that could be ignited? His clothes? Okay, well, you're not you're not going to be naked, but uh, they are starting to singe, absolutely. The only thing on you that isn't getting super hot right now, because your armor is, is, is metal, so the only thing that isn't heating to a painful degree is your sword. Can I just try to whisk? stand it you can sure uh you take one shift of uh physical stress can i i steal the heat qualia the qualia of heat yeah you can you can steal that from him if you're just gonna stand there while he does this all right you you can take the next turn i mean that was his turn to do that to Mm -hmm. ignite jim will take a couple steps back like in the face of all of this heat and then he will push into it and try to strike him again so your blade is met with a gout of flame. Like you could have pierced through it, but can I give him that bonus? Sure, you can give him that he bonus. Is, he is doing cool stuff. If you take that bonus from Nia, then you can pierce through the fire and strike him again. Although it is a light strike, it meets flesh like before. It's not his skin isn't hard like it was, but he does. He still doesn't bleed like at all. It doesn't even seem to like phase him that he's been hit. While you're in close like that to do that stab. He is going to plant a hand on your chest and then push outward, trying to just push you away a bit. As you can see, his arm extend and part of it kind of ignite and glow as his flesh begins to convert into magma. Goodness. You can probably beat a three. As as a matter of defense, I would say probably roll knight. You meet his force then. How do you defend against this? He's just trying to shove you dig his feet in and try to parry with the sword. Yeah, he, um, unlike the undead that you fought against with this blade, he, when he makes contact with that metal, it doesn't doesn't seem to harm him, or at least not as seriously as it did for the vampires and zombies that you fought. So it's pretty obvious he's not vulnerable to it like they were. Once he does that and sees that you're resisting, you have the opportunity to now counter-strike if you'd like, or... Okay. You can disengage. It's your choice. No, he's going to counter strike. Jim All right. Doesn't like to back down. All right. With a six, what is this attack? Because you're going to land a consequence on him. I think Jim will aim for his heart. So you push the blade into his heart or where you think his heart would be if he was human, but fair yes. enough. Yeah. Heart in quotation marks. So you actually see the, the blade go in. You see him not look down at it at first until he finally does his eyes do look slowly down almost sleepily and he just looks up at you stares you in the eyes and you see his mouth open and then start to stretch like he's screaming but he's not making a sound and you see a light deep within his mouth that is growing in size and intensity as he is preparing to explode he does explode outward because you're the only one here jim you take six physical stress from He's, this as he detonates as you're right next to him um all my i believe how many no. you have four right yeah you pick up a moderate consequence you are badly burned while he does that and the explosion's going on i want brisket to sneak out the back of the car he's not running away he's getting out of the car but from the on the other end of where the fight's happening and that he'll be watching from there for a moment so jim you're badly burned uh your armor is superheated also from just the proximity that you have this explosion uh once it dies down the light you actually see lava flow through the wounds that you made on him and seal them shut when they harden and cool pretty much sealing any damage that you did to him damn yeah jim jim goes to one knee at the very least he kind of opens and closes his hand for a moment i never thought that a human would be able to use that weapon 
as well as you have. It's almost a pity to take it from you. You'll take it over my dead body. I most certainly will. (laughs) As he's laughing, you watch as the top half of his head flies off and sprays magma everywhere. The resounding boom of a rifle shot echoes throughout the area around the tower. What the hell was that? In the skies above the wreckage of the tower, four figures are floating in the air. One of them is holding a very long sniper rifle aimed down at the group. The other starmen, the two that were not struck, whip around to look at this. Kev Kavan loads up another round. Does Avicii say anything? He doesn't say anything. He just turns around and looks. Still well, smiling. Turns, while he's distracted. You know, for that shit he said about him being an ape, Brisket's going to take the opportunity to rush and slam. Like his, his stand is going to pop right out of his back. And he's going to rush as fast as he can and just deck that dude as hard as possible in the back of his head. Okay, go for an attack. Yikes, man. Fuck. Can I re-roll that with a fate? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, really? <laughs> oh, man. It happens every time I try to re... I'm never re-rolling again, dude. It's okay, because you know what? When you punch his head, it actually explodes in the vapor. Well, he doesn't know any better. When it explodes in the vapor, he goes, Yeah, boy, that's right. You call me an ape? I sell you an ape, bitch. And then he, he high-fives his own stand. And then, like, he's just going to spit on his back. When you spit on his back, you see the spit sizzle and then turn into a noxious green vapor. And then... You see a face reforming out of the vapor, out of out of his exploded head. Yes. Just the, the smile first turned towards you. <laughs> let me, Just the mouth. Let me guess the head's on backwards and looking at me now. Like, that's the... Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to scream. He's just going to... Ah! And he's going to run. He's going to run back for the car. <laughs> Luckily for you, Avicii has bigger problems. You guys can see that stone sours the top of his head when it hit the ground it started oozing magma everywhere that's starting to melt the uh surrounding materials but the eyes are still looking around the other two that were about to attack you turn their attention up and begin to ascend the tower again sugar ray the one that has the floating matter field between the top of his head and his shoulders begins to fire off rounds after round of projectiles from that field. As he takes steps up the tower, he's actually freezing the surface that he's touching and cracking it under his weight and then drawing that into his field to continue to supply himself with bullets that he's firing at the group of the ELO who are taking evasive maneuvers from this. They're basically getting uh, assaulted by machine gun fire. And Avicii is also uh, climbing to fight them in the air you'll just hear from from his hiding place behind the car again you hear brisket but that's right bitch run get the fuck out of here before i get real serious on you and he high fives his stand again his stand pops out just so he can high five it marisol rushes to jim can we go pull his armor off like oh yeah you can yeah definitely him? actually brisket can't you help with yeah you need some can. water but there's like a bridge there's nearby i mean there could have been like a fountain outside you could use that like try to redirect that if you want He's going to see them rushing to them, to, to Jim, and realize he can help. If there's water nearby, he'll just run over there. His stand will just put his arms in there, and it'll just kind of suck the water up like a hose. And he'll rush back. He'll be like, all right, everybody, just stand back. Hold on, I got this, I got this. Biscuit got this. And then it's just going to spray water all over him. It's just out of his hands. Oh. Thanks, uh, Biscuit. Thank you. Can Marisol take advantage of this water to, like, try attempt to heal something on Jim? literally anything yeah absolutely uh you can try to ripple heal him uh you can i will i will say for the purposes of this uh, the burn damage isn't completely healed but it is kind of negated for now it doesn't hurt jim you're still damaged but it doesn't hurt which means it can't be exploited against you for the moment in the skies above you actually can see the action is pretty wild first of all you see sally pimienta about to whip around and join the fight and then Lewis is gone, just in the blink of an eye, vanishes from under her arm. And a group of four ELO members begin to plummet out of the sky because they're not flying anymore. But they don't even seem to care. There is an insane fight happening in the skies above Babylon. But the action is mostly focused on you guys. Right now, you are too far away to be involved. But you can help or engage if you wish or if you feel you can. God, I wish I could fly. She's looking around, searching the skies for where 
Lewis could be? The girl, like, it disappeared from the girl's arms. What's she doing? Oh, she's, uh, well, first of all, freaking out, trying to figure out where he went, and then getting angry and whipping wreckage down at you guys with her hair, just whipping it wildly and slap, slapping it over the edge. So there is, like, uh, debris falling towards you again. Hey, 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 what, what, what happened to my dance battle? Can Jim use his gimme shelter stunt to try and protect us from the falling stuff? Absolutely. Good use of the stunt. Um, you can make it out of the wreckage that's already on the ground. You can make a protective dome for your friends. If you do that, then it will guard them from... They won't have to make a roll to avoid the, the debris. It'll pretty much shield them. Okay, I will do so. All right. So you're all... You can see Jim Stand quickly hammer out a dome, a half... <laughs> a semisphere. Hemisphere for you guys to get under and be protected from the onslaught. Of materials that are falling does your shelter have like a viewport or something or are you just in the dark uh yeah i'll say it kind of looks like a bunker or like okay. a pillbox you know nice does anyone else want to try to do anything or i uh, understand your abilities are limited so you it's not like you can just fly up there and dbz punch them but nia did in fact try to challenge that lady to a dance off right now she just kind of like hisses at you and bares her teeth and then goes to join the others as they're engaging with the ELO. Yeah, that's right, bitch. You better run. And he takes a breath. He goes, man, y'all really fucked up. All right, Biscuit shouldn't be in this. We could have just left. Look at this guy. What, what, Whatever his name is. Look what, this is because of you. And he pointed at Marisol. Brisket, if we lose, there will be no more moon. Marisol's ignoring him and, like, looking at the cars. She's trying to look for Whiskey Girl. Yeah, Whiskey Girl is, pro no, Whiskey Girl would be in, like, a private parking thing. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. So who can say? Uh, what did you want to find her for? On the day Lewis said that that car has flying capabilities, he said he was too chicken to try it out. You know what? Because you said that, yes, Whiskey Girl is out there. Hell Fuck yeah. It. Guys, we're about to upgrade from Sweet Sangria if we can get to this car. Wait, why? Why? Why would we do this? She fucking flies. That's why. Yeah, so she oh. can fly us back to Earth? No, up there. Let's do yeah, it up there, there where all the crazy killers are. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's a good idea. Just go straight to the killers. Jim, if you want, get in Sweet Sangria and get out of here. You seem pretty fucked up, man. So now that my physical boxes are ticked off, how do, how do I get health back, I guess? You can't for the scene. So you're just you're just at a... If you take another hit that's uh, hard enough, you'll take a either a minor or a significant consequence from it. Yeah. Although Whiskey Girl actually does have two root beers and they do cure physical stress. Oh. Actually, Marisol the remembers car. that. Actually, Jim, change the plans. If we can get to this car, it's got some hella good juice. Jim <sighs> sort of just like wheezes in response, but he gives you a thumbs up. Can we try to roll to get past this falling debris? Yeah, I'll let one of you roll uh, speed to navigate with the others. Uh, whoever <laughs> feels most confident. Didn't she take off to go join those guys? So would she still be whipping shit at us? No, n yeah, but she did, but it's still like falling because the building uh, yeah. has been damaged. It's a really tall move out from your yeah, it's a really tall building. Oh, oh sweet Nia. Sweet yeah. bubble gum. Do you want to fate point that? Well, does my last girl and camera bonus help at all? It would for you, but it's for your whole group. So I would say give it a re-roll. Okay. If you feel like it. Yeah, no, let's do this. Nia daredevils. You can daredevil to pull off six stunts and kind of parkour your way through some of the really bad stuff and lead your team along a path that may have been more dangerous if you hadn't taken the lead as you had. You guys following Nia's lead can make it through the debris to uh, Whiskey Girl, who is parked uh, sort of off on its own in a little VIP section. But considering there's the guards are scrambling and many of them are injured or dead, you have the opportunity to get in. Uh, Whiskey Girl recognizes Marisol, so locks aren't an issue. Oh, thank God. Yeah, hey girl, remember me? She searches on the panel for the button for the root beer yep you see the panel flip over a big saloon style pint glass pops out and then a spigot comes out and starts filling it with root beer with accompanying cowboy sounds yeah yeah pew, 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 yeah as uh Come yeah it fills up with this nourishing root beer specially modified formula she holds out both mugs to jen drink both of them. Yeah, slam that root beer, buddy. Jim starts chugging. Jim, you can feel different stimulants being processed through your body, as well as painkillers that greatly reduce the physical feelings of being burned. 
as well as your your body's natural regenerative abilities uh, increasing. Your stress is cleared. Okay. Stress boxes. 